What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? Guys, we're talking The Walking Dead. This is Season 9, Episode 9. We're very sorry that this wasn't out on time, meaning uh, soon after this episode aired. We do apologize for that. Uh, But rest assured, we'll get them out in more of a timely fashion going forward. Mike, this was the mid-season, I was going to say finale, mid-season premiere premiere which is so weird because you have the finale then the premiere but yeah uh, that's the way tv works i guess um yeah man let's let's just jump into it what what did you think of it dude the whispers are super super creepy yeah um yeah it's really interesting let's get right into like the daryl stuff and how daryl um took took out some of those walkers and you know, by shooting one in the leg, obviously a human getting shot in the leg is going to cause a lot of pain. And that's where the walkers around are going to munch on you. Right. I just think that, and we talked about this a little bit already, but over time we, we realized our survivors knew how, they could handle walkers. Yeah. So when there was a 10, five, you know, five, 10, 15, even 20 walkers, we didn't really worry too much. And right. this puts a whole other spin on a smaller herd. They're not used to the thing is they're not used to fighting people. They fought people. Yeah. In uh, uh, you know in the in the, I guess a couple years prior now in yeah. the Negan War, but they did a lot of gunfighting. There wasn't that much hand to hand, right? So now, like it's you a said, new it's a new threat. It's a, it's a new, new threat because you don't know who is right. a whisper and who is a walker. If they, if this cluster of walkers, if there's even a whisper. Right. It, within so it just it puts um it, it gets me excited because now there's it's just a new new feel a new, a new spin on threat. how they yeah. have to take care of um walkers now what they do what's you know the, the the show obviously is aptly named that adaptation for a number of reasons one being the fact that literally we pick up right right where we left off when jesus was was murdered yeah. and then the same you know that next day as they're making their way back, they encounter more. Yeah. And, you know, right away he's like, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to figure this out. All right. So, obviously, there's people in there. We got to do this. And, yeah, like you said, he figured it out. He sh- shoots him in the leg. You know, that was pretty great. And then we get, you know, we get Lydia. We get uh, yeah. the daughter of, you know, w- you and I know that it's it, it, it's a spoil alert. Oh, no, she said it. It's not really a spoiler. She said my mother. Her mother is the leader. Her name is yeah. Alpha. That's the mother. That's who we saw at the end with the shotgun. Um, yeah, yeah. Like Alden said, and Luke are in a tough spot in the end there. But. Yeah, I mean, not much, not much to talk about there. They led them into a trap. You know, they they knew what they were doing. They're obviously yeah. they're, they're smart people. They're you know, we don't know their motivations yet. They just seem to be like a group that wants to, to just decimate and just add to their ranks or yeah. whatever they want to do. Who knows? We don't we don't yeah. know their motivation. I do hope that their motivation is good for the show like i hope they don't make it like so far like what's the reasoning behind you guys dressing yeah. up like walkers you know what i mean um well i think we'll get to more of that especially with well, yeah with um daryl questioning lydia in the cell and trying to get something out of her and i think eventually we're going to see more she's going to give more because even at the end of the episode she kind of explained a little bit more of what was going on it's it's the uh like the good cop bad cop we were saying with henry yeah, being in yeah, the cell a, next to lydia right it was a good it was a good maneuver on uh um, on uh, daryl's part i could i was gonna say norman was, <laughs> on, yeah da- obviously daryl orchestrated that whole thing knowing that uh that that kid what's his name again henry little henry uh, henry i just wanted <laughs> you to go henry henry the thing is henry's the new carl so yes. yeah if you're following the comic book so uh, what's going to happen is this you know if you have read the comics uh you know carl becomes romantically involved with lydia uh he actually gets his cherry popped by lydia in the comic and then so that's what's probably going to happen here they're gonna they're probably gonna hook up and then that's going to be a little storyline so spoiler alert there in case you didn't yeah. see where that was going uh but yeah and you know what man i'm fine with that I guess, you know, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. you know, Henry's fine. You know, he's a little whiny for my taste at this point. Um, the, he's you know, a bit stupid and yeah. naive, especially being want, raised though. by such powerful people. Right. I think that's what they want, though, because he's like, think about but it. You think it's a little unbelievable that I mean, Carol's, you're, you're, you're being raised by Carol's a frigging badass. You know, um, Ezekiel, the king of, you know, the king of the kingdom. You know, you would think that maybe he He'd would be, smarter, be less right. naive and, and a bit smarter. Yeah. The only thing I can say to that is he was always hot headed as a kid from what we saw. 
right? He was always like, he always had his own way of, I want to, I want to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So he's maintained that growing up. Obviously he got stronger as he became a teenager, but also just because your parents are who they are, doesn't make the kid that way, you know? And obviously I can tell you right now as a, as a parent, like that's, that's obvious. That's evident. Like you can't make your kids into who you are or who you want them to be. They're going to be their own thing. So if this kid's naive and not paying attention, it's just yeah. who he is right now. Yeah. He has to go through that. He has to get burned to a point where it's like, man, I have to, I have to like learn from these mistakes I'm making, but that's the whole yeah. point. So is it believable? Yes. I, I don't mind that. Okay. I, I just mind the fact that I'm just, I, I hate characters like that. I just do. I just, <laughs> You know, but anyway, that's just me. But so, so yeah, so Daryl listens in, obviously, he yeah. orchestrated that, and that was great. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as, you know, there, I mean, there isn't really much more to say about the, about these, you know, the Whisperers. They are an awesome yeah. threat. That's, that's some of the coolest cinematography so far, like watching Alpha walk and then stop just stops. And, and yeah, that was su- super you know, creepy, right? Yeah, they're staring at her, like, you know, yeah, and, and then they're all surrounded. The and, like, yeah. It's great. <laughs> Excuse me. It's it is great. It is. Like it's, it. it's 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 great. I like I like it too. And obviously, we're seeing and we spoke about this already in the first half. Is is how there's a different feel of the show, yeah. and we and we we spoke about several times in our Walking Dead uh, stuff that says how is the show going to survive Rick and how is the show going to survive without Carl and and things. I think it's I think it's fine. Even Maggie. Do I, you really miss like? Nope. I mean, I'm so in love with with little Judith and Negan stuff mm-hmm. um, and the dialogue between them. I mean, she's adorable. I like these, other, you know, the Magna character and Luke. And I mean, these guys are interesting. Uh, Whisper is, I, I think are really stealing the show because it's, it's just some, it's just new and That's it's a breath. It's a it's breath new. of fresh air. It's new. You know, yeah, it, people... it feels like a new beginning for the show. Yeah. So I'm not really sitting here harping on Rick, not being there, Maggie, not being there, call being there, which is well, cool. Stuff was getting and old, like, man. Like his, it was, his it was, stuff was getting old. Like how, how often, you know, you know, we, we heard that again, when nothing, nothing against any of the actors because they, yeah. they did those roles, absolute justice, but it's just, you can only take those characters so far without changing. That's you, you, you have to adapt. You have to evolve. Yeah. You have to, this is what you have to do. So, you know, I, you know, I agree. I agree. I think the show, the show's fine. The show is fine. It with, is. You know, Michonne is a very strong character. They've got a yeah. little bit of like what happened in those last two years, you know, like we still don't know the full story, this and that. Yeah. Going back, going back to Negan and Judith. Yeah. I think, I think that little girl does an amazing job. I, she's got such a sweet face, but yet she can, she can. She's badass. She's badass. <laughs> and I like it. I like it. She and is. Negan, she's. You know, Negan, they're giving they're giving Negan the reason to just change because he realizes and I'm so yeah. glad it all happened within one episode and they didn't drag it out for like two That's, episodes. Like yeah, making, eventually those are smart decisions, you know. Angela Kang's making right decisions there where it's like, All right, we're just gonna go here, be done, done. Let's, well, let's do see this, how let's done. see how long this plays out though. I mean, I wanna talk about how like Negan's reflection mm-hmm. And, and him, like, taking a step back to realize I can't go back to my – there's nothing here for me. There's nothing there. Yeah, he's got nothing. In the sanctuary, he, he kills a few of the other stray walkers but leaves one of his old boys around right. as a walker. He goes through different rooms in the sanctuary. He sits at the, at the table where he used to, uh, <laughs> you know, give justice and take right. people, you know, whatever. So it's – it was um it was a great it was great it was a great scene because we saw him fighting the demons almost yeah. and eventually realizing that um there let, there's nothing there obviously you know obviously and it's time to to redeem yourself and see um if you can obviously contribute in this new in this new life and be a part of Alexandria. So by him looking at the compass that he took from Judith's room and all that kind of stuff, I thought it was really cool and done yeah. really well. And on his way back with little Judith standing in the middle of the road, expecting him to, yeah. to some, you know, to some degree, that's, you know, that's, I thought yeah, that's... was, was really cool. I just love them two together and they're good. It's going to be like, you know, I wouldn't say Negan being like the her, a dad figure, but, like a more of like um like a buddy like a uncle yeah. kind of an uncle yeah an uncle character. You know? don't forget you know before that before he went back to the sanctuary he also had a bout like the dogs chased him he got attacked yeah. by a bunch of zombies on the street and it's like yeah you could see you know he you know uh, JDM did a really good job portraying like shit man like 
I got to do all this again. Like he did all that already. Like he, you and he was tell, by himself. He was like, I so. did this already before I started the sanctuary. Now I got to mm-hmm. do this all over again. He's, mm-hmm. and he's probably just like, yeah, you know what? Whatever. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't think, you know, we're not, I don't think we're done seeing his, you know, manipulations and stuff. He's going to obviously get back and try. And so I'm, I'm very interested to see what goes on there. I think it is. I it's, think it's, it's a, I think it was great. Um, I'm just trying to think, was there anything else? I mean, I don't want to talk it to death. It's oh, We know. had Dirty and Dirty Rosita. I'll, oh, we could talk about that real quick. Yeah. You know? So, you know, again, uh, going back to the comic, and, you know, spoiler, you know, uh, in the comic, Rosita and Eugene are living together, and Eugene is taking care of her and her baby, who is not his. And in the comic, it was I think it was just some random guy. It wasn't Sadiq. It was I think it was just like some I don't, random guy yeah, I don't, I don't know. that she had a baby with. And um, but you know we find out she's pregnant with Sadiq's baby. So I mean obviously it's fine. Sadiq, you know they're yeah keeping it all in the in the in contained, which is fine because you know we got to use the characters otherwise why have them there, right? So yeah, so you know she yeah she uh, I I think Rosita's just lost. You know she's just lost and looking for. You yeah, know, she's having a little fun, right? Yeah, I think it's fun, and you know, and also, you know, she was shot, and you know, all this stuff, and I think, like I said, she was, she's just, she's trying to find her way in this new world and stuff, and she has her place yet. Yep. I don't know. I think she's still messed up, and that's the thing. But now I think we're going to see this thing where Eugene's going to start taking care of her, perhaps. You know, could be. I wonder what's going to happen with Gabriel, because obviously Gabriel still believes that uh, he has some kind of relationship with her. So no, let's Gabriel, see how Gabriel's he. He's going to die. Don't worry about it. He's going to die. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if, you've, if you've read the comic, you know how. It's so, yes. Uh, it's very. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that uh, if that happens with the, the comic deaths and things, or if it will maybe happen to other people. Yeah, I mean, those were because uh, they know, do change that all the time. They so do, if, and that's you know. fi- and that's fine. I'm I'm so I'm so not. I mean, I, I obviously I mentioned the comic a lot, but it's just for reference. But yeah, I'm 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 at the point where it's like whatever. Let's just see what they do as long as it's yeah. fine. Um, lastly, I just want to talk about a couple people leaving. Uh, mm-hmm. Michonne is going to be off the show. She's only going to do a couple, a few, I guess, a bunch of episodes of season ten, and then she's gone. And I did see something that someone else was going to leave. I don't know if you oh, saw that. I, I didn't hear anybody else. I yeah, I saw something else, a possibility of someone else leaving. So I don't know if, if you guys know, you know, let us know in the comments. I, I hadn't, I didn't click on the link when I saw it. So I don't know if it's legit or not, but you know, but yeah, people, listen, people are going to start leaving this show. So I don't know where this show is going to end up. Yeah. I know. Um, I know what you call it. Uh, what the heck is his name? Dwight is going to fear. I don't know if okay. you know that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, Dwight's going over the fear. Maybe we'll see a little bit more crossing of the episode of the shows. Uh, who knows? I mean, like I said uh, earlier, we haven't really felt too much with Rick being gone, and and obviously we still have these movies that they're going to be doing, so we'll eventually see him again. But I, mean, I don't think the show is going to really take a hit because I think that they said I don't have an exact figure, but I know that the ratings for this premiere were were very uh, were high. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the highest um, in a while. So people are enjoying it still. It's a new twist. It's a new flavor. You know Angela what? You gotta, Kang is doing a good job. I you got to get know. out of the stigma of The Walking Dead. You have to get out of that. That's the problem. Yeah. People just know The Walking Dead was great, and then it fell off, and now they just don't care. I but, think a lot of it was dragged on, dude. I mean, we spoke about this all the time. And this how could have been two seasons ago. They could have done this two seasons ago. Now let's see if the whispers are going to be gone after these next, you know, what is it, eight, seven episodes, whatever it is. Let's see um, how long this whole whisper thing and the whisper of war yeah. is going to go. I mean, Neg- the Negan stuff was just so, so dragged on. We had that from, uh, the, you know, the sixth season, the seventh, even into the beginning of, you know, Eight, um, eight. All that so let's yeah. see um, if they how how they can keep it fresh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's so that'll do it for this episode uh, for the episode nine it's... review here, uh, Mikey. What 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 and where, man? <laughs> well, of course, you guys. Uh, we want to hear how you felt about uh, episode nine. So write uh, all your little reviews and whatnot, your comments in the section below. Check us out at Third Person Pod uh, on all the social medias. Third Person uh, Pod dot com. If you just want to type us into that Google there, but check us out on all Instagram and on Twitter, and uh, you can have a listen to this on iTunes as well. You can actually watch it on iTunes. It comes in. You can video. watch it. Yeah, that's true. It that's iTunes. true. Uh, all right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you very much. We will see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. We love you. See you later.